Hey YouTube, good to see you guys. Yeah, it's been a while since I uh, made any videos or something other than when I'm at the, at the gig. And it's because I'm always a uh, I'm always out busting my balls trying to get some good, you know. I don't uh, make my money off of YouTube or any bullshit like that. And uh, um, I try and talk about truth and I don't like liars. And uh, I really get pissed off with uh, people that are running around talking foolishness and trying to make money off of it. Um, Lucky Hassan's is a cool guy. I uh, picked up on him through uh, Voynich, boy. And, uh, He's got a lot of good information. Um, he's kind of a straight shooter. He, he just calls it the way it is. No bullshit. You know, uh, he's got his little businesses going. He's a non-monetized gig as well. The smaller channels seem to be talking more truth, and the bigger channels are retarded. I mean, uh, they're scammers, man. It gets into this Masons, the Freemasons, and stuff like that. And um, I got no time for fucking lying Freemasonic scumbags. Anyways, pardon me for cussing, but that's the way it goes. You know, um, there's a couple of good group, uh, people out there. There's uh, um, Michelle Frost. She's got a good gig going on uh, uh, once a week or twice a week on her channel. It's, and her and Dub. And uh, uh, there's a few other guys there. Chuck Middleton. He's got his new channel called uh, Censored Truck Driver. 444, I think. Yeah, Censored Truck Driver 444 is Chuck Middleton, he's cool. And uh, I'm listening to Jerry the Camp right now. And uh, just kind of like wrapping my head around the bullshit that I'm seeing on the internet today. Let me explain you something. The internet was provided to you by DARPA, Google, Surveillance Capital 101. Um, surveillance Capital, they just analyze every move you make in your life. And uh, you got these people that are involved with, uh, like, uh, these groups. Like, I remember following that uh, Jason Braziers, right? Like, this, uh, the Grapist. And then, uh, um, these, these clowns, they mix good with bad, and they're total fucking liars. I'm telling you right now. You got this little meetup going on right now down there in San Diego. What a shit show. Looks like a room full of 50 year old, uh, with 50 uh, people in there, all granny panties, all soaking out, wait, waiting for this rapist. You know that guy, got 30 years in jail? Okay, I have no time for these motherfuckers, especially Martin. Martin really let me down. This fucking Martin Mika. His fucking book's another one. Check him out on Facebook, Martin Matson's. Just take away the T and you got Martin Mason. Fucking bullshit. I just fucking promoted this guy for a couple of years. Total scumbags, right? Down there smoking dope. They got Max Eaton going there. Uh, Campbell, autodidactic, right? Where are these fucking people getting money to travel around the world, man? Could you give me a break? They're all, they're, they're grifting. You know, this is another thing. I remember a year ago was uh, this uh, our, our Jason Brazier, right? The grapist. He must have sodomized this poor fucking girl. I'm telling you right now. These fucking nut bars are insane, right? But they're doing 30 years for aggressive sexual assault. And then you want to blend fat flatter people with these kind of idiots? You give me a fucking break. Max Egan still lives on a ball. Oh, he's simulation now because of RPX and these similar tards. Give me a break, right? Anyway, there's a whole bunch of people out there shooting their mouth off full of bullshit. They're fucking lying scumbags. Don't buy into it. Like I was saying, everything is capitalism, right? They surveil you, this is your cell phone, your television, all this crazy bullshit is a nightmare, man. I call this place hell. There's a sanity uh, machine, El Diablo. Um, he's a cocky little bugger, right? He talks some good stuff, but I don't like his approach to things, man. He can be a little bit of a fucking dickhead when it comes to fucking speaking about reality. I gotta go out and fucking bust my balls for my money, man. You know, tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to look at my, a job, so I gotta fucking, uh, you know, uh, first I gotta pick up my tools today from the job I just finished yesterday. And then uh, I gotta go look at another job tomorrow, do a board count, 
see what they need. I'm, I'm, I'm a construction worker. I'm a goddamn fucking 60s. I don't sit around on YouTube copying and pasting all this bullshit. 90% of the shit you see on YouTube is bunk. All these books, I told you, they're all approved by Freemasons, man. It's all scumbags, right? Anyway, another good channel out there is Ange. She's a pretty good straight shooter. Um, I've known her for, for years as well. A-N-G. Um, she, I know her through uh, Brendan Sibley. He's uh, a Christian truther. He talks about uh, the common law and all this kind of stuff. But he's not a common law kind of guy because, you know, common law sucks. The only way to get around this whole situation is uh, uh, contract law. There's no other, uh, no other deals. Common law, all this kind of stuff is just King's Court stuff. This isn't even for us, man. Your politicians are all nothing but scumbags. Every freedom movement that's going on out there is a retarded fucking, oh, Million Man March, all this, uh, Tamara Leach. Oh, by the way, Martin Lika is actually Leach. And uh, it comes from a German Jewish background. And uh, that's what I got out of that. But anyway, uh, Tamara Leach and her writing these books, they're all con men, man. You gotta be kidding me. Every single fucking freedom movement in Canada, and probably no doubt in the United States as well, is all controlled by the Freemasons, okay? They're all scamming, they're all looking for a buck, and they don't even know what, a real, what it is to be a real person these days. Right? I don't want to you use your legalese and your person's stuff, but to be a real dude, woman, whatever, you gotta go out and work. You know you gotta do something. I call this place hell for a reason, man. All right, my left hip bone is in my right femur, and I'm fucking spending 50 hours a week fucking busting my balls, fucking trying to get get some quit coming in. At my age, give me a break. And then I gotta look at these wannabe fucking YouTube fucking employees trying to make money. Anyway, I'm not going deep on it, right? I got Jerry DeCamp, I'm listening to him. He's got some mythology stuff going, but that's crazy, Jerry and and uh, Tartary Melt and uh, Deborah Simpson. Red, Red Brick Chick, there's all kinds of stuff that we haven't even looked at. And everybody's, oh, I gotta do the upkicks, we're here in 38 year fucking recess. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Recess, there'd be fucking millions of them, man. In all kinds of different forms. And this whole chronology bullshit, this fucking clown's running a gear grip out of you guys. Fuck, a year ago this guy had 2,000 subs, now he's at 120,000. How many goddamn subs did he pay for? I'm telling you. I do the day banner fried earth lounge, usually whenever the hell I can if I'm not on my way to work. It's at five o'clock in the morning, it's from the UK. And uh, these people talk sh truth, man, and it's, they're just not people from the UK. I mean, they're from all over the place. Uh, Schlominger, he's from Germany, I think. Artez is from uh, the Netherlands. There's all kinds of people, right? I also like Jim Dillinger. He's another cool guy. He doesn't like bullshitters either, but you know, he kind of, swings with archaics right? and I can't do that. I can't do archaics whatsoever because this is a bunch of bullshitters, man, trying to make a buck. Then you got the Oktoberfest going on right now in Las Vegas. Who in the name of fuck wants to hear fucking Jaronism, right? You guys can go keep going. Look, at, it's a flat realm. There's no debate. And I don't want to keep going on YouTube and trying to like, wow, oh, we're going up, we're going down. Are you kidding me, right? Anyway, the whole fucking shit show is a fucking lying bunch of sex and shit fucking trying to make money. Pardon me for cursing, but I'm a little bit pissed off right now because of all the stupidness I'm seeing going on. And I go out and got to work my ass off every fucking day in a physical capacity, man. I've been doing it since I was basically 13 years old when I started picking tobacco, right? I spent five years in high school and didn't do very well at all. I got one credit machine shop after five years of fucking selling drugs in high, in high school. So was our collegiate. I went to high school when Doug Ford and Rob Ford were the biggest hash dealers in Etobicoke Collegiate. Now this Doug Ford's my fucking premier of Ontario. Give me a break. Freemasons. Anyway, I come from the old world and I don't, uh, I don't own a cell phone. I don't own a television. I got books. I'm not stupid. I can read. I know it's all a clusterfuck. That's why I'm saying this place is hell. Sandy Machine's got a lot of good, good stuff to say about that aspect. But like I said, I don't like chippy attitudes and whatever, and, and uh, I only try and call people out on the bullshit and I leave it at that. You know, I don't have to dwell on it. Anyway, there's a bunch of scammers out there. You should probably be cool. 
Don't buy into a lot of these big channels, man, because they're all full of fucking shit. That How to Die Mikowski is another fucking book writer. Now I come up with this video again today about hockey in Canada. Listen, if you played in a hockey in a professional manner, you're probably a Freemason, okay? I don't buy into any fucking book writing fools, okay? Living over there in uh, Norway, right? I mean, come on, man, I live in downtown Toronto. I'll walk out my fucking door, it's a goddamn open air insane asylum. Well, it is, that's the way they treat us. That's why they, when you go to vote, they got you voting in these wards. Because it's a goddamn insane asylum, and you're in ward whatever. Anyway, have a great day. I ain't got too much more to say other than don't be buying into these fucking assholes on YouTube, and definitely don't be giving them any fucking money. Flatter British? Fuck off, man. I'm not mixing my shit with that kind of crap, man. You know, the only Flatter British I can see is probably Dave Mantle, and that's Trinity Four. And he's out doing activism as much as he can, right? In a physical capacity. Anybody that's doing any research is doing the boots on the ground. I'm not sitting on YouTube fucking uh, copy and pasting and, oh, look at all these beautiful CGI images I found. You may as well be working for NASA then, okay? YouTube sucks, okay? I hope you I hope I hate to break your heart, but you know, it's great to learn off of, but there's only so far you can go with it before it starts becoming a clusterfuck. God bless you guys. I love you. Take care.